Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld. I have, like usual, been doing a little bit off-camera, and thought I'd start right here in the gauntlet. So what I've done, though it's kind of hard to see that I've put the floor in, but we've got weapons racks all along the perimeter here. I've got some temporary stockpiles of wood in here to get them to start bringing it in, because the traps are going to take 70 wood each, so that's almost a stack of wood for every trap. That's a lot of wood. And I've got a little bit of a bedroom set up in here. It's just a temporary space to give someone an hour's nap that's about to break on us in the middle of a battle. Just something I've never done before, but I thought, yeah, let's give that a try. Um, right here, I'm thinking well, the roof is missing on purpose, so we can put a couple of mortars in here, launch off to wherever on the map. Um, otherwise, we've got a lot of the stone brought in. We're... Got this stretch right here and a couple of sparse, you know, sparse spaces here and there, and, and that's it. Then we can start setting traps again. So we're getting there. I've gone through the home zone and taken all of this out of it. So nobody, nobody's going to walk in there and start cleaning. So that should be safer there. Otherwise, I robbed all of the stone out of here that we were using as in place of sandbags. Because I didn't want to waste the steel, but now the the stone is worth more than steel now. So <laughs> we'll set up sandbags around here. And I think that's the pattern that I saw of the explosions when this thing blew up. So that's about the right distance to, to protect this from shots coming in and for our people to stand around it without taking the brunt of the explosion if it goes. That's my thought. Don't know if it's ever going to happen, but it's, it'll be in place if it does. Um, what else is going on here? Handy got a lot of this laid out. I don't remember if it was last time or in between, but power's in. Got this guy built. Just waiting to get last little bits of power in here. The heater there and the switch there. And the rest of the power run through here to tap into this system, which is now running. Yeah, we've got a roof off and we've got this guy functioning. So, that's that area. Um, down here... Not a lot of changes. Down here is where I've done most of the, or spent most of my time laying out more of the base and really just the bedrooms at this point. So what I've done is put in basically blocks of six bedrooms and then a main hallway running through. Another block of six. So one, two, three, four, five blocks of six. So potential of 30 colonists in here. Though by that time, I'm guessing we can think about uh, breaking off and seeing who wants to take off and form a new colony somewhere, then kind of get the experience of running a couple of colonies. That's, that's the plan. Don't know if that's what's going to happen, but that's that's the plan I'm, I'm working with right now. But with this layout and uh, you know, our blocks of six, it kind of leaves a natural area there, there, and there. And then I'm not sure what's going to happen up in here. We're going to dismantle a lot of this. But this was mountain all the way to here. So actually... I remember right, our bay or our valley here just goes about like this, as far as where a ground exists, where we may go back and put in planting in the dirt. So, and then possibly even a, a gauntlet, a smaller version of a gauntlet in here. I'm not real sure exactly how to do that. We'll see. It's it's, it's real awkward and, and it, you know, Rimworld doesn't build on diagonals very well. So trying to make a diagonal gauntlet through here is going to be pretty difficult. It'll look like like this. And yeah, you put a trap here. I, I don't know how they how, how well they step diagonally when they walk through. Yeah, that's, that's like I said, it's awkward. But I wanted to lay out more of this so I can get into some of the uh, the granite and get some granite blocks out of here too. And also I got to thinking it would look better if we put the marble walls into the marble area and the granite walls into the granite area so I'm marking these guys to demolish we'll put walnut or walnut we'll put marble back into here and uh, just just make the colors blend a little better anyway started laying out individual rooms to remind me how this works so that I know exactly where to put walls in and doors and that sort of thing and I see we've already got a torch in the wrong place randomly um, it'd be nice to get like I was talking about last time somewhere in here maybe here maybe here, I don't know, a block cutting area, but one that is a nicer construction. So, hmm, maybe take a bedroom. 
Yeah, I could do something like that. Maybe we'll mine out this bedroom right here, which is kind of central. And put in some nice flooring, real walls, block cutting table, and I don't know, but I guess once the blocks are stored in here, that's all that's a negative fifteen for every one, so no matter how well we make it look, we're still gonna have a horrible looking place to work. But then again, this entire colony is gonna be a horrible place to work until it's built. So everyone who's in here has their beauty taken down all the way to zero while they're in here. So Miss Apiece probably spent the most time in here. No, she was actually somewhere else. But your beauty's real real low. Uh, Alicia was also doing a lot of mining. But she's up here right now, and, and this looks much better out here than down in there. So, anyway, um, assuming that RimWorld continues to be nice to us, I, I have a hard time believing it will, we'll, we'll get into mining this time. But I would expect something's going to drop on us here pretty soon. Anyway, everybody's pretty much queued up. Tomislav is kind of done, so he's going to grab a meal and go to sleep. And he already did. Rabbit, he's getting there. I've got a few more things queued up for him to do. Uh, grab him, some of the steel and bringing it out of here and loading up into here. Shantigo is still doing fine, so I've got him hauling more of the uh, chunks over into this area. And why they pick where they pick, I don't know. He got that all the way over there, and he chose to put it here instead of there, which was closer, or there. So, yeah, it's kind of odd, kind of random. I watched them drop them in here, and they didn't just load up this area first. They were hitting all random places around. Now he went to that one. Hmm. Anyway, he's got that, and then... Is that it? I think it is. Let's have him bring a few... Let's see here. Shift. Let's add a couple stacks of wood into his list. There, there, and there. He's still got a while to go before he needs to rest. His food is fine. His mood is pretty good. Klaus, where are you? You, I've assigned to bring some of the steel in. Um, just watching this work right here. So you've got at least one more. Oh, you've got some more wood you're going to bring in. And you're getting right down there on your mood. I think I'm going to call that done when you're done with that. Sangria has been training and been kind of leaving her alone. The, the advantage is, even though it seems like easy work, uh, failed. Um, if we can get these guys set for haul and train for haul, suddenly our job gets to be a whole lot easier. So that's just as important as about anything else we've got going on. So that's fine. Kathra, you are calling it done. I have worked her so hard. <laughs> she has brought a lot of stuff in. And we're going to work on this one here today, too. Let's see. Natalia's already crashed. And Miss P, both of them are on day, uh, day schedules, or day sleeping, night working schedules. Michael is resting. Yep, he's hit his end. And when does the next round of this stuff come in? Oh, another day or so. Okay. Miss P, yes, right. she's a night owl. And Alicia is up there working on steel. And she's going kind of slow. So remind me, character, mining. She has a passion for it, not the greatest at it yet, but you can see how fast her skill's going up. That 4920 is just, just buzzing through there. Um, global work speed, all that sort of stuff, nothing seems to be deter or detracting her from it. Okay, so that's fine. So she's only 15 years old. Yeah, she's a young one. She only has a childhood story. That's right. Um... Yeah, I've made a guess there'd be some up there, and there was, and there's some over there. By the time you get done with this, you're going to be needing a meal. In fact, let's... What's your mood like? Ah, oh, there it is. I'm going to say, let's send you down there to get a real meal before you do that, but your mood's fine. You can eat out there. Okay. So, you've got those six, seven, eight more to do. That'll be fine. All right, so just let her run. And most everyone's going to sleep right now. We'll just have to wait and see what uh, what the game throws at us. But blocks of six, I think, is a good way to do this around the perimeter with the activities in the middle. So doctors, uh, like, a, like a hospital area with, with doctor's quarters, I'm kind of picturing in here, and fairly close to the meals. 
to serve the uh, the patients so I think that works pretty good then we've got these two areas that could be maybe a combined production and storage maybe I'm not certain yet on how this works um, final animal area is probably out in here in what was the old valley that's in here so somewhere some of these buildings may be converted into barn and, and uh, uh, hay storage that sort of thing um, prison I'm thinking over here with possibly and you guys let me know what you think about this possibly a back door that opens up onto the river if there is a prison break and there's a if there's a lot of prisons we've had a you know an attack of 25 coming in and we somehow managed to not kill 10 of them 10 of them go on a prison break I don't think I really want them rampaging through our base searching for weapons or anybody to beat up <laughs> that just doesn't sound like the uh, the you know the best plan for me if they were willing to escape out the back and if we can go and capture a couple of them bring them back fine but there will always be more prisoners that's the way I look at it. Handy, what are you up to? Oh, you want to go finish over here? You got up already? You did. Okay. And you're doing that. When you get to here, is there anything here that doesn't have supplies? Uh, five of five. No, everything's supplied. Just got to get them built. Okay. I'm hoping that she can stand in that doorway with it open and still be able to work on this corner. I think it will work that way. What are you? Your compact machinery and your compact machinery. Wouldn't you know it? To get a hold of that, we got to punch a hole through our place here. Yep. Um. Hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. You didn't go all the way over here to play chess. You hop in there and just have a ball. Mm -hmm. And then when you're done, you can do that one and you can do that one. Okay, good. We'll get that one finally done and our, our back door is sealed. There. And then you can haul these in. Uh, handy and haul those in afterward. Ambrage, amb yeah, ambrosia sprout. A grove of mysterious ambrosia bush have sprouted nearby. If you wait for the plants to grow, you'll be able to harvest the delicious, pleasurable, and slightly addictive fruit. We did this once before. Now, this is a different group. So we've got it here, and we've got it. Muffalo! Here, no. There. That stuff's popping up all over. We've got muffalo. Where do you guys come from? And another herd of deer. Okay. Well, well, everyone but, well, I guess Tomislav's up, but uh, I want to say while most of them are sleeping, let's take a look and see what uh, what's walking onto our map here. So, four muffalo, two ostriches. And a partridge and a pear tree. Let's see. Any carnivores up in here? It looks pretty empty on this side. Down in here. Don't see any Z's. Okay, it's calm over here near us. Good. So, we got muffalo. And I'm going to say let's go ahead and mark them for tame. What's our warning? 0.3% chance. Not bad. Um, out of curiosity, and for any of you new to the game and never heard of a muffalo, a large herding herbivore descended from buffalo and adapted for, for some exotic environment. Peaceful unless disturbed. Yes, muffalo will rampage and they'll stomp all over you. Um, what do we have here? What am I looking for? Animal filth rate of 2.63. <laughs> Carry capacity 158. These we want if we want to take a trip on this map, on the world, out into the world. Move speed, I'm looking for wildness, 50%, not bad, so more easily trainable. And minimum handling skill of 3, so most anyone can attempt it at least. Okay, so that's good. We'll get these guys tamed and hopefully trained. Otherwise, Tomislav, in fact, mo most of our fast ones are waking up. Where are you? You're right there, you're doing the research. Okay. Tomasov did not have much of a of a uh, mining capability, unlike Missa P and Alicia and a few others. Even Kathra, or uh, Handy and Rabbit were good. Shantigo was really good at mining. So I left Natalia and um, 
you guys are all over the place here. Tomislav over there, um, off of mining duty. They can continue doing whatever they're doing over here. Mostly research, getting us caught up. Get, so, get our mortars researched so that we can uh, uh, get those placed. Otherwise, man, he's sleeping again. Okay. If you say so. Something woke her up, apparently. That's what I can think of. Didn't... Yeah, before I started the episode, she got her meal and she went to bed. Then something woke her up. And then she went off and built something. Like, joy or something triggered her. Um, handy year right there. There is a 2100 joy. I wonder if you went to bed over here and then got woke up for joy. And then... I don't know, that was, that was really weird. To go all the way over there to build a door. Hmm. I don't know. Until you guys are off your wacky schedules, I'm not even going to try to figure it out. But we are doing a lot of digging. So if we're going to do the digging, let's get over into the lit areas for starters. Let's work on um, compacted steel. Sure. Miss P, let's work over in here. And who else is mining right now or wanting to? Who else is out? I wish that Handy would, you know, dive back over here and got to work. It's weird that she went all the way over there. Oh, it's because those already had their building materials put in them. That's why. Okay. Because I'd like to get some of these going. Now, Lady Shell wrote back to talk about this. What she was talking about, at least my best guess now, is to actually have us placed, like, here. I can't make that. Let's do floors there. So, if you were to stand here with that door open, then you could shoot through at whatever's happening up here, and you have the cover of the wall here, and we've been in, in darkness, which gives us even more cover. So, if we were to place the door there and there, then we could stand in either position and shoot diagonally or, you know, through and be inside the room. That's kind of what she was describing um still kind of like I, I took off the walls segments that i put in there but if we were to put those back we still have something to stand around a corner of and shoot at too hmm i had first had pictured a box now i'm kind of thinking just a a unique little structure to, to be inside of i'm going to rebuild this a little bit first of all we're going to get it off of the the riverbank so we can walk around here. Handy, what you doing? You are hauling to machining table. Ah, there's something else I did. So I did place the drug lab and I did place the machining table. Took out the other art uh, tailor bench right here. So those went in. Michael, you are going to rest. <laughs> this is odd. You guys are just randomly going back to bed. We're three in the morning now. So he doesn't have a queue, I don't think. Yeah, you still do. You're just randomly accepting that queue. I thought that they would ignore the queue if they, unless they were getting pretty close to their little notches over there, but apparently not. You don't need to rest. Your rest is fine. I tell you what, I'll let you though. Again, we've been so long without a raid. Let's get them topped off a little bit. Who knows what's gonna happen to us today. Um. Okay, these are done. Let's look at the drug lab bills. What do we got here? Oh, we've only got make medicine because research. We've only researched make medicine. Where did you go? There, medicine production. Otherwise, you've got to research psychite, wake up, go juice, and what all kind of nickname penicillin over here, which wouldn't be a bad thing to do. I don't know what the ingredients are. But that should probably be our next one after mortars. Then we'll drop into incendiary mortars. These were kind of interesting. I used them last time. And they're quite effective in Alpha 13. If they were to... We'll pick an area. Say we've got a siege happening over in here. And we're trying to snipe them from right there and right over 
there or something like that. And they're setting up their sandbags, setting up their mortars. If we send an incendiary mortar into it and light this all on fire, they will temporarily call this their home zone and they will break away from the attacking us to go and put out all the fires while we're sniping into there. That worked really well last series. I'm going to do that again. So incendiary mortars will be one of the things I want to dive into. And you are working on this bedroom, but let's still keep you kind of over here at the light. Let's go to there and work. And Alicia is sleeping. Who else is? Klaus has gone to digging it. Marble, are you? You went to bed already? Needs? You did. Hmm. What? else is there i'd love to have you just kind of load up all of the steel you can there bring 75 to sandbags yes do oh i see you're bringing 75 i see um i need a fast runner that can go all the way down into here and take the stuff we've not put into a stockpile and what didn't get hauled over here what's left we've got let's see 75 a stack. I'm seeing three runs out of here to get that done. Shantigo, you are making food. Good. Meals, 37. Yeah, we're ready for that. And we are stocked up pretty good. Need more potatoes brought in. Kathra, why don't you load up Shantigo's potatoes right there. And that will make sure he can continue going. Rabbit, you are harvesting a poplar tree because you want to do cutting poplar over here, over there, over there. Because I wanted more wood to toss into here to do the traps. But tell you what, let's have you go ahead and get the last of the wood brought in. So there's almost 75. So there's another almost 75. And that'll be another almost 75. All right. That will take care of that. And the wood is done. Then we've got to worry about the last of the steel. And then that's kind of done. And we're kind of done in this area for a while. Now, these are empty graves. Oh, good. A gear is right over there. So we've got five empty graves over here. Okay. So we don't need to do any more of that right now. Um, otherwise, Klaus, what did I do with you? Thought about doing something with you. You're digging up marble. You're going back around to go dig a marble. Oh, I had you haul stuff over to here. Okay, let's do that again. Handy's over here. Let's haul more of that. Let's get all of these guys built and be done. And I also need to get the materials brought into here. In fact, Handy... Okay, you're going to go assemble those. But if I told you to do that conduit right there, where's your nearest steel? There isn't any. Hmm. Well, in that case... Cargo pods. Uh, 30, 65. Let's have you... Hmm. Well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see what you get. Whoa. Boom, boom. The whole ground shook. Um, yeah, where? Hello? Oh, man. Whoa. <laughs> wow. I've never had that happen before. Rabbit, you are one lucky dude. You'd be dead right now. These things just came crashing in out of orbit and they landed right on your bed. Wow. I mean, they just destroyed this area. Building is breached. Doors are gone. Even our, our safe room over here blown right through the wall. And we haven't even erupted yet. Oh, I thought they would blow again. What are you anyway? Wart. The heck is Wart? Beer. You're kidding me. You destroyed our colony to give us beer. Before fermentation, the substance needs to be fermented into a fermenting barrel before it becomes drinkable beer. Wow. Okay. Well, there's our event for this episode. <laughs> wow. Well, I was going to move this building over a little bit anyway. I guess I really am now. Hmm. Okay. Well, turn it back on and let's get to rebuilding. Boy. Furniture. Bed. You were right there. 
wall, structure, wood. Right there and right there. <laughs> Gather's in there cleaning it all up. <laughs> um... Hmm, I guess while we're at it, Catherine, can you destroy that and destroy that for me so we can get that built right now? Um, this is discolored because of what? Uh, click away, walk speed, brightly lit. Oh, we have our ceiling, is, or, or yeah, we've blown a hole through the ceiling here. Okay, these two are, are done. And Cathra, um, I don't need you to build it, just needed you to open them up. Otherwise, let's do what? I guess back to cleaning? Hmm. What is... I guess it's not important that this be hauled in. Okay, well, I guess, um, haul this stuff to somewhere. Does that need to be refrigerated? Um, how do I tell? Right here, storage. I've never seen wart before. That's not something that was in Alpha 13. Um, seems like we had hops, but I don't remember what the stages were between. Anyway, what would that be? Raw foods. You'd think it'd be kind of right in there. Animal products, vegetarian. There's no... No, nothing in there. Um, hmm. Manufactured? Wart. But no idea if it needs to be refrigerated. Let's look at it this way. Frozen won't spoil. So apparently it is spoilable. But I'm not going to waste the kitchen space with that. Well, okay. I'll waste the kitchen space until we can sell it. Let's go that route. Just to keep it valuable to resell. Alright, we'll do something like that. But where are you going to go with it right now? You are heading for there. Why don't you haul this one? What's your max you can carry? You are only willing to take 25 at a time. I guess that's as far as it'll stack. Okay. Hmm. Um, do I keep her on cleaning is kind of what I'm thinking. How are we doing? Do we go back to hauling? I kind of think we do. Yeah. You are still on that one. That's why. Okay. So let's go ahead and reset Cathra for hauling. Right there, we have Shantico on cleaning. Although he's going to fall, actually, he's going to fall back to mining. So there'll be nobody on cleaning here. So I guess I kind of, until I come up with a better candidate for now, because she doesn't mine either. I guess we'll go ahead and do that. And, no, oh, this is looking pretty good over here. Okay. All right, you go do what you want to do. You just have a ball doing it. Okay, I need someone to take care of these, though. So I need a handy, or a handy-ish. Tomislav, medical. You are ready for your own. You can self-tend on this one. So go ahead and heal Tomislav. What are you doing? Tomislav is tending to Tomislav by going there for herbal medicine. Am I really losing it? What is... Um, what? This is not forbidden. Why would he want to go for this herbal medicine? Let's try that again. Can you... No, you can't. Um, clear that. And I can only make you... I can only make you self-tend if you're in a hospital bed? Wild. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and Shantigo's turn. Hey, come fix me now. He's going to go research. No, let's let's take care of Shantigo. Thank you. And let's go ahead and set Tomislav back for not self-tanned. That's just for those situations there. Natalia, you're not in bed. Where are you at right now? You... I didn't even see you there. Okay. You're right there in front of me. Okay, that's all done. And now you are going back to researching. They're both researching something that is not high-tech, so they can both do it simultaneously in the two benches, which is nice to see. I've been hearing all this ticking and tapping while I was doing all that. You guys, come over to here, and come over to here, and... that it? Klaus? Come on down with the rest right over here. Let's get everybody having a conversation, just uh, lots of social interaction, having fun, 
and handy don't you don't you go to bed now what, what's this i don't oh you just need to be worked on okay all right tomislav get handy going because i've got a long list of to do's for her to do otherwise i'll bet you half my mining crew is about to leave to go get worked on now these two are late and these two don't have it okay so that leaves who else needs to be done shantigo's gonna need it soon needs health Almost. He's got... Oh, he's, he's the one that just got done. So it's just handy right now. Um, did you get done? You did, right? Health? Yeah, you did. And you don't truly need to sleep. So I'm going to get you a meal and let's put you to work. You are going to then... Uh, handy. Do that one. Do that one. Do that one. And between all that, that one will get done too. Now, this got really busted up. Um, so what I'm thinking, first of all, I want to kick it over a little bit. I want to add little outcroppings and bumps all around the outside, as well as the idea of being able to shoot from the inside under the cover of darkness. So between all of that, we'll have a multi-purpose safe room here, or defensive structure of some kind. What can we reuse? What did you just do building wooden floor i didn't even know that was in there um anyway yeah you you just continue there thank you all right um i also got to think and i want her she wants to repair first so i'm gonna tear that down let's just go back to that anyway i'm gonna pause it because i can't think while all this is going on around me what is this gonna look like what comes out, what stays. I like to maintain at least maybe these two doors, since that one's ruined anyway. We may as well move this over. So I'm thinking that we're looking for a wall now, granite, that rolls through there and there. So this goes away. Um, deconstruct. Here we go. And we're going to deconstruct this whole, deconstruct this whole area here. This one cancels. So, actually, while you're here, Handy, so you can help me out, why don't you go ahead and do these? Good. And that way that'll be done so I can fill in that blank there. That goes there. And. But there'll be a door still in the middle, right there. Okay. That means I want a door there. Two spaces, a door, wall, and another wall over here. Okay, so, well, when you're done with that, I'll have you put all those materials right back into here, then you get back to work on this. Um, so that means another, kind of this structure there, there, door, there, and deconstruct that one, that one, that one. Pause. Handy, do that, 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 and... Yeah, this one goes away. Deconstruct, so you'll do handy. Do that. Okay, so that one does stay, so you can repair it. And then you'll go ahead and build those. Well, it took a lot of damage. That's not just a little tap tap and it's done. Alright, so that's kind of interesting. Then we'll actually build that afterward with the wood. And then we'll get into these. Okay. So that's that. This is blocked by cloth. Hmm. Rabbit, you are a while before you need to go to bed. Good, because we're still kind of working on your room there. Because I've hijacked your, your carpenter. <laughs> okay, we're going to get all big paws, autosave. Whew! Just waiting for the, the raid klaxon to go off. All right, that's done there. Building that one, building that one. And roofing it, and you are building a roof. Okay. That, and I'm going to build a bed. And you're going to build that corner, and then you're going to build a granite wall. Good. So and then you're going to move that thing, and then you're going to construct those. Then you're going to take that out, so I can get a door into... Whoa, and you got a handy. You, you can sit here and actually remodel a whole building all in the same day. That's kind of nice. Well, I wish I could do this in real time. Alright, that's going to go there. 
then we're going to tack onto your load that one and then that one. Get the last of these building supplies dropped off. It's not enough to do the whole thing. We lose a little bit every time we tear something down. But we're getting all these put in place. And colonists are gathered to celebrate Tomislav and Handy's marriage. Oh, I, here I am working you to death. And you need to be putting on your wedding dress. Where are you going? No, 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 no. You're cleared. You go and you do what you're supposed to be doing. Attending the marriage ceremony. Well, here it is, and everybody's sleeping. Hmm, how do we deal with that? Uh, needs. Klaus, go grab a meal. And Natalia is fine. Michael, you're fine. Let's wake you up. And Miss P, you're in good shape. You're not going to be happy that you're not sleeping, but same with... Well, Natalia is fine, but you'll get a big bonus, I believe, from the wedding ceremony. Um, what else? Once everybody finishes whatever job they're on, there's nobody out here, right? Sangria is there, so as soon as she's done training. Okay, now I'm thinking this cannot commence until everybody arrives. I think that's how it works. Where is Tomislaw, by the way? He's researching. No, 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 dude. This is your day. You go do that. And Sangria, let's... Yeah, you're there. Okay. So let's go through a roll call here. Looking down there. Uh, except for Klaus, who's grabbing a fine meal. And Cathra, who's cleaning dirt. Right there. Everybody else is heading for the wedding ceremony. Okay. It's happening. Everybody's taking their seats. <laughs> Tomislav and Handy have arrived. Oh, don't let there be a raid right now. <laughs> or if so, let them uh, plan carefully what they're going to do. And Shantigo tried one last time to woo Handy. <laughs> no, he tried to woo Miss P into a romance and was rejected. <laughs> Oh, Shantigo. <laughs> okay, here comes Rabbit. Klaus, you in here yet? You're right there. Klaus is probably officiating it. Yeah. Sorry, Tomasov's there. Handy's still sitting over here in the audience. We'll see how this really works. This is kind of the, you know, just everyone saying hi to each other at the beginning. But I think we're all here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We're all here. All right, we'll just watch this for a while. Um, handy, social. So we're not just chatting. All right, there's no combat log or anything like that going on. What was the war expired? Oh, this is back from uh, the hunts we were on. Okay. Batteries are almost charged. Oh, good. We're almost full on power. And still random conversations. I would imagine the two are going to stand here when it officially starts. It's been a while since I've seen one of these. Yeah, it's been five alphas since I've seen one of these, so... Alright, the beginning, their marriage ceremony. There goes Tomislav. Um, Mandy's in the audience. Oh, that's right, you're supposed to be over there. There they go. <laughs> Saying a few words, vows, exchanging rings. Means we need to move a, a marble double bed today. So where should we put that? Hmm. It worked good to put those chairs in there. I've never done that before. I didn't know they would all sit in them. That's kind of nice. It worked out that way. Got a few extras, too. I didn't know how many people we'd have by the time this happened. Tomislav and Handy have married. Colonists are now celebrating the occasion. And while they're doing that, I'm thinking we're going to put Natalia in here instead. Well, I don't know. Let's think that through. Did we just change this out for a double bid? But we have two potential people being woke up 
by someone needing help, needing uh, medical care. Thinking we could put the couple in this room and the hospital here with Natalia. I don't know. Still, Tomislav is the lead doctor. It seems like it'd be best if it was here. And it'd be the least disruptive, too. Well, we'll let them do that. Let's go ahead and... Hmm. Uninstall for now. And relocate you to there. And I've got to wait for someone to actually break away from this. We're coming up on nighttime soon, too. We've got some down votes and some insults going on in here. Yeah, anytime you get a crowd together, it's... There, there's a lot of potential in here. Good and bad. We'll see how our abrasives do. <laughs> hmm. Hopefully nothing happens that uh, that gives uh, Alicia a, a, another plus to her uh, <laughs> to her, her needs. Yeah, the attended party is still in there. Attended wedding, 20. Ooh, that's good. We're going to have a big bonus for everybody for a while in moods. Okay. Probably go till they get the command to uh, to go to bed. That's a guess. Tomislav needs anybody. Yeah, Tomislav needs to get to sleep. Hmm. Let's run through this. Handy too, but their moods are so good they can go even though they're very tired and still be fine. In fact, what were the uh, mood bonuses on Handy? Got married. The ceremony has finished. 20 hundred hours. Got married. 50. Honeymoon phase. 20. Low expectations. Opinion of my husband. Very comfortable. Ate a fine meal. Spacious interior. Seeing his master. Attended party and feeling good. All right. Well, here's what's got to happen. I need Tomislav. Go tear the bed down. I need Handy to reinstall it, but the only way to do that is to have it already gone. So I'm going to draft Handy and send her to here to go pick it up. By the time Shantigo gets this done, we will be ready to do that. Actually, I need, I need you to uninstall that, and I need you to move this one. Okay, and I need you to probably just move this to somewhere. That's a normal bed. Michael, normal. Anybody have less than a normal? I don't believe so. Uh, that's the superior. That one is a normal. Uh, probably the jail is where this needs to go. Superior, normal. Normal, good. Superior, and good. All right, so that bed goes right over here. So, Tomislav, while I'm stalling, let's do this. Install right there, and you can do that. Uh, this one. All right, right? Did I do that wrong? You are going there. I did that wrong. You're going to do this one. Okay. In fact, let's clear that in case you need to try and go and do that other thing I, I said as all as well. Okay, this one needs to be installed right here, like so. Okay. And handy, you are no longer drafted. Instead, you are going to do that. All right. I still need to stall Tomislav a little more. Needs, you can grab a meal after this. Because he'll go and crash in this bed right here. Just go get some sleep. Okay, Handy, you were out there. And Handy, you were needing what right now? You really need some food, too. Kind of do. Hmm... Okay, we're well going to pop that in, and you're going to grab a meal as well with your new hubby. And this bed is going to be assigned to Handy and Tomislav. Great. So, Tomislav, you can stall for a second by just, you know, delaying you. There. Now, undelay, and not undelay, but undelay, and consume a fine meal. Good. Start your timer all over again. There we go. That's the way it should be. Now, we'll just, uh, hi, hi. And we'll just let these guys go and 
do their thing here, and uh, we'll give them a little, uh, <clears throat> a little privacy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, that was exciting. Okay. Now we're ready for our raid. So, what else to be doing? There's tapping going on. Miss a peep. I need to train you to go into the light. Go over here. Thank you. And otherwise, most everybody's in bed. Yeah. Where am I? 40 some minutes into this. We'll get into the next day. And maybe in between episodes, when all the sleeping gets done, I'll see if I can't get this one finished. Then we'll be done with the gauntlet for good. Oh, these, I didn't point out, are pathways for cement. So quick pathways through the idea that the fastest route will be through one of the, the doored pathways so they'll, they'll have less of a reason to go the slowest route just in case they still want to try to you know shortcut through this this maze right here though hopefully they'll they'll take the fastest pathways through so hoping that's gonna work well with that um we're cleared all the wood's gone good all that chopping's finished and We've got just a little bit of steel left over here. May as well wait until we tap the rest of this out right there. Okay, so you're getting this done. Um, I can lay out some more of these. So uh, marble walls in this area. That's going to go up like so, like so. And door will be one, two, three, probably like that and that. There, one, two, three, door and door. And more marble there and there. So we're gradually working all these in. Once we actually fill this space in, where are you going? You are resting uh, just because you're tired. You're a night owl, but yeah, you're hitting the end. Um, I've got no easy way to... Actually, that's marble there. Mississippi, can you deliver marble to... Actually, to that one right there. Uh, work on marble wall. If you can deliver it, and we can get it built, we can then pull this column, this pillar out of here and get that mined. Like I can set you to mine now, assuming this goes through. And then we shouldn't have to worry about a collapse in this area. And we don't have to worry about leaving unmined parts. So if you can grab just that one stack, then yeah, we've got to think about a good place to do a block cutting area. It may as well be right here. Just get uh, maybe Catherine over here to clean this area up and then set up a production table stone where am i looking for stone cutter okay you can drop into why won't you go there just not enough stored the train here cannot support this what does that mean what are you why are you blurry overhead mountain okay rough marble what i see shallow water shallow water you know i was thinking about that the other day why would we not run into water in the mountain, you know, aquifer kind of things? There actually is some in here. Shallow water. Wow. Okay. Um, there is the moisture pump. I would imagine that would clear that out once we get that research. And actually, Miss P, if you can just do one. That is work left five, four. Three, two. All right, you go rest. A wild boar has given birth. <laughs> and look at these little piglets. Wild boar number six and wild boar number five. Little baby piglets. Animals are right in there. All right, we'll set you guys for obedience. And you're already set up in the alpaca grazing area. You guys will take the little... Uh, wooden animal sleeping boxes, which will be done by the the young pets. The full dogs, I don't think, can sleep in them. Not the Labradors, just the just the little footballs. You know, whatever that terrier, but not the Boston Terrier. What is the other little dog in here? <laughs> anyway, so that one did get built, so this one could be mined. Yeah, so we're good there. We'll do the same thing up in here. There's another. That one's got to be set to mine soon, but. Yeah, Handy will pop in here and do these. But I wanted to get Handy in here to into here to start get all the stuff assembled. How are we doing? 
Most everyone's still in bed. Yeah. So, still kind of a boring episode in regard to attacks and raids and those sort of things, but very productive otherwise. And nice little wedding. Hate to even tear up this wedding chapel now. Don't truly need to yet. We've still got one bed here, which is a superior bed. You know, Natalia, you may as well move in. May as well. Let's set you up there. Natalia, you just kind of take over that room. And we've still got the one bed over here. So we still have two rooms. If we had to, we can move, put Alicia and Natalia together and get a, another guy's dorm over here and a girl's dorm there, or something like that. So we'll see who actually moves into the game next. Klaus, you are screaming through the scene here trying to do something. Digging a marble, and you've already had your food because you ate before you went to bed. Great. Um, right there. Do that one. Um, no. Yeah. I was going to say, before you do, I want you to bring some marble with you, but there is no more marble cut. There's marble... Actually, there is no more marble cut. Yes, yeah, so we need to get into this right here. Let's set this up, then we'll call this episode done. So, stone cutters table, we'll set you up over here. And that's considered outdoors. Interesting. I guess we could set up a temporary wall in here. Uh, structure, wooden wall. Something like that. And then put a wood door there and there and just hold the doors open. We could do that. That way it'll be considered a room, not outdoors. Then we'll get the the boost to the production in there. Um, Alicia is consuming a fine meal. Michael, well, you're already in good shape, so why don't you move down here with Klaus and work on that one. Anyway, um, over here, then we want... We really don't need any storage for chunks. They can. They're not far enough away to have to worry about it yet. Let's just set up storage for, um, let's see, order zones. That's what I want for the uh, the blocks that, are, that have been cut. So this entire run here, what's the easy way to do this? I guess there isn't an easy way. Like that. Wild Boar 6. That's the baby! Is dead? Being is downed. Okay. We need to launch a rescue. How did that fox get in here? Wow. I never saw him. He's probably the one that was out in here at one point, but he made his way in. Oh, man. No. Who? Sangria, you're not a dead eye shot. And you're going to work on a muffalo. And you're too far away already. And there's nobody else here. Yeah, Fox, uh, there, and needs, you're hungry, that's why you're doing it. Okay, and you, Health, have already just got scratches. You're still salvageable. I had somebody set, trained for attack. Animals. Wild Boar 1 and Wild Boar, Boar 4 are set for rescue. None of them are set for release, except for the Labradors. I don't know how to do that. Sienna and Ham. So, Handy. Right there. I've got no way... If I, you were selected and I were to click on Sienna. Now, if I click on Sienna... i got no way to direct the dogs out there to defend. i got no way to do anything like that. Um... We could flick a switch and have that shoot at it. Hmm. Kind of running out of options here. There's nobody close by. There's Miss P who can't shoot. There's Catherine who can't shoot. There's Shantigo who can, and he's got a revolver. But he's got a good run speed. And there's Handy who's got a revolver and a good run speed. And about the same shooting. No, a little better, I think. Both these are fairly decent. Tomasov's down here, too. All right, let's, let's go ahead and mount a rescue mission. Draft and head to there. Who's got... Tomislav, what have you got? You've got the same distance as all the other ones. Okay. So you go there and Handy, you go there. And let's just see if you guys can get here fast enough. 
Nope, torn to death. Alright, we can't save it, but we can certainly save that one and kill it. Now, what would happen if I just turn... Tell you what, let's do this instead. Turn you on, handy. Flick switch. Did it work? Power? It's not considered an enemy. Nope, it's not. Okay. So, you guys there, handy. Draft there. But we have other animals around, so I'm kind of worried about what we're going to do here. We're going to do that. Now, Catherine was telling me, instead of just right-clicking there, which has the risk, if I've got my range wrong, of somebody running to that point instead of shooting that point, we can just attack. But I still think this would issue a melee command, too. But right there, we'll try it. Okay, we've got Red Fox Revenge. And take him out, guys. There it is. All right. So all of you guys stand down, and Shantigo, you can... Is already set for hunt? There we go. Shantigo must not be set to hunt anymore. All right, we struck compacted steel. Oh, good. Good, more steel coming out of this area. All right, then. Well, we've had a wedding, and we've, we've, we've lost a baby boar. We lost a piglet. Darn. You're done with that, you're going to haul that in. Okay. And with all that excitement, I think we're going to call this one done. I'm going to micromanage these guys a little bit and get this structure assembled and get as much of this built as I can. And if I get any inkling of some kind of a raid coming in, then I'll hit pause and, and uh, we'll start next episode. Otherwise, I'll also see if I can't get at least some materials dropped in over here for this and get uh, somebody set to uh, turning all these chunks into blocks we can we can start building all these walls in here and little by little we'll start putting this base together so with that call this done it's been noble rambler and i'll catch you next time folks bye, -bye. Mm -hmm.